Hi my beauties and welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Jamie. Today I'm going to be doing a video on a, I guess, designer luxury handbag. I haven't made a video like this in a while and I do know that I have some subs that love their designer handbags. And last month was my anniversary and my birthday. So I got a new, I guess, luxury designer handbag. So if you want to see the bag that I got, then just keep on watching. Okay, so let's get started. So before I splurge on a, a higher end bag, I really like to do my research. I go online, I read reviews, I watch, I like to watch videos like this um, because this is something that obviously is not cheap and I like to keep for a very long time. So I try to watch some videos, but I didn't find many that um, would like really explain it in detail. So I kind of want to show you the bag. I want to show you why I got this bag and this size and, and what fits in it and how it looks on my body type. So then you can get more of an idea um, if it's something for you. So let's get started. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> oh, the old so beautiful orange box. Okay, so. Here is the bag. It comes in this beautiful like bag, obviously. You guys, I've been wanting this bag for a really long, long time. And I ended up going with, let's see, it's like Christmas all over again. I'm going to take it out of the bag. I ended up going with the Louis Vuitton Key Ball 50 which I absolutely love. I've been wanting this bag for a really long time. I should say weekend bag because I guess for me it's almost like a weekend bag, like when you're gonna go um, on a weekend vacation or um, your carry-on bag, which is what I got it for. I got it for a carry-on bag when you go on vacation and for a weekend bag when we go to like vacation, you know, for a couple days or whatever. So, one thing, I already have the Keep All 45 and I have a video on it, so I'll link that down below. Um, but I wanted to get the Keep All bandolier with, with the strap because I feel like this bag can get real heavy really quick. Um, so I just think that, you know, instead of just holding it like this or like this, it's just really nice to Like have I the said, strap. I have the 45, but I feel like the 45 is perfect for. I guess just for me, like for myself. But now that I have two little ones, I felt like I needed something a little bit bigger, which is crazy because it's not that much bigger, but you could fit a lot more. And just like for when we're I go on vacation and I want to put, you know, my essentials and I put like my kids' iPads in here and stuff like that, like it works perfect. Had it just been for myself again, I probably would have got the 45 in the bandolier, but since I have to pack a couple of more items like for my kids, I ended up going with this size. Um, I thought that the 55 was a little bit too big for my body type. Um, maybe if I was taller, I don't know, but I just thought that the 50 was um, perfect. It is definitely like a slouchy bag, almost like this, it actually exactly like the Speedy bags. So it's slouchy. Um, I usually store my bags like stuffed and I kind of have them on display. Since this is a bag that I'm not going to use uh, frequently, it's only like a vacation bag or like a carry-on bag. I will end up just folding it again and putting it back in its box. I think it is so beautiful. I love the gold It does hardware. have a double zipper and it comes with the uh, lock and key. So you can open it like this. And I love that it comes with the beautiful luggage tag that you can get Hot stamps. I love that it comes with this little handle keeper, so if you um, put it together, it is easier to hold the bag by the straps. Let's see if I can do this real quick. Like that. It just keeps the straps together. They don't like flop back and forth, and it's just easier to hold on to like this. Okay, so the, the strap has nine adjustments, and um, it has this nice shoulder protector. Um, so I love this because I'm short and I feel like I definitely always need a strap that can be adjustable. On the inside, there is no pockets. 
it's just a big um, duffel bag, I guess. And it does come with the little D-ring. So you can put your keys in there. And then on this side is the date code of the bag. So that is what that looks like. Let me see this. That's what that looks like, okay? I just fell in love with this print so much after I purchased my Pochette Matisse. I just love how this looks with the um, monogram canvas. At first, I used to always buy um, the Demir Abine. Um, I just felt like it was easier to keep clean if it got like dirty or something got on it. You could just wipe it down. But I'm telling you, like, once I got my push up Matisse, I was like, oh my gosh, this is beautiful. And then I got, like, my little makeup bag, you know, and I just, I just started to fall in love with this, um, with the monogram canvas. So, that's why I ended up going with this one. I just want to go over the measurements. Length is 19.7 by height is 11.4 and the width is 8.7. Removable strap, obviously. Uh, leather handles that are comfortable to carry, um, it's cabin size, and what else? And this bag retails for $18.20, and it's worth every penny. So that's that. So now I'm going to show you what, um, I, what fits in the bag and how I pack it, and then how you can wear it and what it looks so like first, on my body type. I'm going to put in this toiletry bag that I don't usually carry one this big, but... Um, like, I'll carry this if I have my items and my kids' items. But just to kind of give you an idea of, like, really what you can fit in here, okay? I have this extra dust bag, which I put in a pair of wedges and a pair of sandals. So two pairs of shoes. I'm down here. The bottom. that looks like still tons of space okay I'm packing three outfits okay and that's what that looks like I think with this size of bag though I am gonna buy the um like organizer pouches I just think it'll be better so next time, maybe I'll do an update with pouches, like my next vacation or something like that. And then just a jean jacket, just to give you an idea what that looks like. Wow, so much more space. Still have tons of space in there, it's crazy. Okay. I mean, I can put a little makeup pouch. I can put my my planner and I'm going to show you what that is. Okay, so I just want to show you quickly what that is looking like. Okay, so I packed all those outfits I showed you. Okay, I still have this much space in there. So I'm going to go it's ahead and add some bathing suits just so you can get an idea of how much more I can okay, fit I'm in there. I'm going to add four bathing suits in here which I never take four bathing suits with me, but I'm just, well, unless it's like a long vacation, but I'm just kind of showing you what more I can stuff in there and then like a bathing suit cover up. So that is pretty good, right? So spacious. Let's close that up and that's it. So now I'm going to show you what it looks like. Um, um, so I'm 5'4 and I weigh 125 right now. So I am more like on the shorter petite kind of side.
right, so if you're still not sure what size is perfect for you, I think it really just depends. I think that the 45 is the perfect size for um, a, a weekend bag also because I'm telling you, you can fit so much in the bag um, and as a carry-on bag like when you're on vacation. And I just decided to go with the 50 because I pack things for me and a couple of items for my kids. So that's why I went with the 50. And I don't think it's big and it still fits my body frame. So that's why I went with that size. I'm trying to think what else that I wanted to know that I wish someone would have told me. Um, if you're going to splurge on getting the keep ball, I would say splurge on the bandolier because as much as that I love just my key ball I feel like when you put it over your shoulder or you like hold it on your hand I do think that it can get heavy and I think the strap is just life-changing so if you're not sure if you get to get the regular key ball or the bandolier I would splurge on the um, bandolier because that's why I felt like with my key ball I'm like oh I wish it had a strap you know I wish it had a strap so I probably didn't use it as much either so um, I'm so happy that I ended up getting so this So I hope bag. I covered everything. I hope I didn't forget anything. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comments. And so I hope that you enjoyed you. this video. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time. Bye, beauties.